Hey there, my wedding planning friends, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thanks so much for clicking on my video. I'm Emily Summer, I'm a wedding planner based in Montana, and I make weekly videos on wedding planning tips and advice. So today's video, we're gonna talk all about wedding florals and how to best prepare for your floral consultation. And I'm including advice from actual real life wedding florists here in Montana. So to put this video together, I reached out to a few of my favorite florists in the area that I work with on weddings all the time, and I asked them all the same four questions to see kind of what their responses were and how they varied so that I can relay that to my own brides and to all of you. So the three florists that I chatted with were Earth Within Flowers, Agile Goat, and Habitat Floral. And I'll link all of their information in the description below. So if you are in need of some fl wedding florals or if you just need some good floral inspiration, definitely check them out. Um, they're three of my favorites. I work with them all the time. So the first question that I asked is, what is one thing you wish brides knew when it comes to wedding florals or before setting up a floral consultation? For this one, each florist had a slightly different answer, so I'm gonna share each one. Um, Earth Within Flowers said budget and priority areas, areas for florals is something that she wished brides knew more before going into a wedding consultation. Um, having a realistic starting point allows us to dream up what's possible and gives us room to play around with different options for flower varieties and greenery to floral ratios so we can accomplish the look in mind without going over the top for budget. Agile Goat said the seasonality of flowers. While it would be wonderful to have access to every floral variety throughout the wedding season, there are limitations. Be open to substitutes if your ideal bloom isn't available. Your florist knows which flowers can be used to achieve the overall aesthetic you're looking for, even if your favorite flower isn't available. Habitat Floral responded to this question with, in order to have a productive consultation, it is important to have an idea of your guest count, initial thoughts on color aesthetics, inspirational photos are super helpful as well as a budget estimation. Without these things, it is hard for florists to give guidance on what might be best for your particular wedding. Flowers range in cost by type and season. Unless you have an unlimited budget, you're going to need guidance from your florist to hone in on what will work best for your parameters. So all three of these things are things that I um, kind of prep clients to be prepared with for when it comes to pretty much any vendor. When it comes to choosing any of your vendors, um, your budget, your guest count, and your priorities are, are the top three things that you want to know going into the booking process for any vendor. And when it comes to your florist, these three are also exceptionally important with the addition of understanding the kind of seasonality of flowers. And this is why I always speak to the importance of wedding florists and not trying to DIY too much of your wedding flowers. There are certain things that you can easily have um, bulk florals for, or maybe if you're trying to save money, it's all things that you can do yourself. However, when it comes to the overall floral design for your wedding, having a knowledgeable and professional wedding florist is going to do so much for you and can honestly help you save money too, as uh, several of these florists mentioned that knowing the seasonality of flowers and being able to kind of swap out substitutes for a floral look that you like that maybe you saw a photo of and you want to kind of emulate something similar they have the knowledge to be able to help you achieve that look with maybe not spending as much money as that inspiration photo might have cost on a similar note the second question that i asked these florists is, is there one piece of wedding florals that you find brides are surprised by often earth within flowers said that the seasonality of flowers is something that a lot of brides are surprised by um, for instance local blooms such as peonies are only available in the springtime and for a three-week window often using other flowers such as garden roses which is in the midsummer or dahlias which are an autumn flower can accomplish a similar look and feel and match the season your wedding is in more seamlessly Agile Goat said, dried and preserved flowers is something that surprises brides a lot. As floral design continues to embrace a more organic style, um, I find that brides love incorporating dried elements into their wedding flowers. From small whimsical additions to the start of the show, dried flowers provide a texture rich addition to any arrangement that is sure to catch your eye. This is definitely a uh, trend that I have seen on the rise and I think um, there's a certain image that brides have when thinking of dried flowers. and. And maybe in the past, a lot of dried florals have been done in a different way than we are seeing them now. Um, I've seen dried flowers incorporated into a ton of weddings, regardless of the season. Um, it can be a really cool way to add texture and kind of give a different vibe to your flowers than just having all fresh flowers. Um, Habitat Floral said that in regards to budget, I would say installations. We get a lot of photos of hanging florals, tent entrances, etc., And I do think clients are surprised by the quote. It takes a lot of product and on-site labor to execute these items much more than clients realize. If you're going to allocate for these items, they need to have enough scale to create a visual presence. So true. I see so many 
um, inspirational photos from clients, whether that is before meeting with the florist or even after, and I'm wanting to kind of create something similar. And I think for a lot of people, they see the image and they see the flowers that go into it and maybe not necessarily everything that goes into the creating that look. So you see a hanging installation that's maybe mostly greenery and brides are like, oh, that's not gonna cost very much money, it's greenery. But you have to think of the actual process to create that installation, what it's going to be required, the amount of labor that goes into it and all of those extra factors. The third question I asked is, what is the best advice you can give a bride who is searching for her wedding florist? All three of the answers I received from the florist are are very very similar but I'm still going to share each individual response so earth within flowers said find someone whose style and aesthetic totally wows you check out several different portfolios reviews and look a little beyond the area you're getting married to find the perfect fit a lot of designers travel a few hours in either direction from their home base especially here in Montana agile goat said match your style while most florists are versatile in their design capabilities, every florist has a design aesthetic that they excel at. When selecting your ideal florist, be sure to look through their website and social media to see if their design aesthetic is in line with yours. Habitat Floral said, look at their wedding portfolios, not just styled shoots. Very good point. Anyone can take an unlimited amount of florals and translate them into a beautiful tablescape or bridal bouquet, etc. But you will want to make sure they have enough expertise to replicate the designs on a much larger scale, which takes a good amount of experience, labor, and organization. Their wedding portfolios are a closer representation of what the finished product will look like. I would also make sure their design style is similar to the aesthetic you're looking for. Floral design is an artistic interpretation, so everyone will do things a little bit differently. So I love how each one of them kind of touched on that every florist has a um, slightly different take on the design and a different kind of overall style and aesthetic. And again, this is something that I think a lot of brides go in not really um, expecting or knowing. And so many florists have their own kind of touch and design style that they incorporate into all of their pieces. So when you're looking through their portfolios, a lot of times this should, this should be pretty obvious. So you wanna make sure that you're spending a good amount of time looking through their websites, their wedding specific portfolios, their Instagrams and making sure that the arrangements that you are seeing are similar to what you want created at your wedding. Finally, the fourth question, I just asked these florists if there was any additional tips or anything else they would like brides to know when it comes to wedding flowers. And Earth Within said, give yourself time to establish your vision and rely on your florist to take your initial ideas and expand upon that. Your florist should add a level of artistry to your flowers so it's unique from a typical Pinterest look. Love this. It's great to have inspiration photos, but you should never want to recreate an image that you saw and make it look exactly like that. Um, this is your wedding day. You want it to be able to speak a little bit more of your overall design and you want something that's going to be a little more unique and, and special to you and your partner on your wedding day. That's going to kind of tie in your whole wedding day and wedding experience. Agile Go brought up a really good point of the difference between different types of florists. So traditional, hybrid, and farmer florists. When deciding on the best fit for your wedding flowers, it's important to know there are roughly three types of florists. A traditional florist is means all of their flowers are shipped in or sometimes purchased from local farms. A farmer florist means all of their flowers are grown locally and subject to local seasonality. And hybrid florists means they grow the majority of the flowers they use, but also source flowers from outside their local area when needed. Depending on the style and type of flowers you're looking for will determine which type of florist will be the best fit. If you prefer a more traditional style using more common floral varieties, you will likely gravitate to a traditional florist. If you prefer a wildflower or garden style and are not particular on the flowers used, you will likely gravitate to a farmer florist. If you want to maximize your use of local flowers, but also want to incorporate elements that aren't locally available, a hybrid florist will provide the best fit. And finally, Habitat Floral said, stay true to your personal style and don't be deterred by trends. It's so easy to fall into the uh, traps of the Pinterest and Instagram trends. There's obviously going to be things that are trending every single year when it comes to weddings across all board of the design aspect um, and, fl and flowers is no different. So it's, it's okay to want to be on trend and have something that is popular for that year, but don't base your entire floral design on something that's trending if it's not something that speaks to your personal style style and something that you'll look back on and still enjoy. So wedding florals and floral design is one of my favorite pieces of planning a wedding. And the floral consultation is the first step in creating your perfect floral vision. So you want to make sure that you are prepared before going in so you can maximize not only your experience, but also the floors that you choose to work with as well so that you are both in good hands and happy with the result. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe to get weekly videos on wedding planning tips and advice, and we'll see you next week.